US weather, state of emergency, travel warnings as 200 meters hit by winter storm Petra. Winter storm Petra. Thousands of flights cancelled as storm bears down on USA. A huge winter storm is bearing down on the USA as 200 million people are said to be affected in 39 states and thousands of flights are cancelled. The storm is moving into the mid-Atlantic and the northwest on Wednesday as major cities prepare for a treacherous commute. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio warned residents to allow extra travel time and make mass transit when possible. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy urged residents to leave work and on Tuesday, he declared a state of emergency ahead of the storm. The National Weather Service said on Tuesday, snow will move from southwest to northeast into Ohio and the mid-Atlantic region late tonight, changing to a wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain and eventually all rain for many. Major cities along I-95 from Boston to Richmond will see some form of frozen precipitation at the onset before changing over to rain. Flood and flash floods watches are already in effect for many of these locations. Additional heavy rain is expected to begin for some of these same locations impacted by flooding Thursday night. The storm has changed from heavy flooding rains to ice and snow as it moved from the deep south and hits the mid-Atlantic and northeast USA. The NWS said the time of changeover from snow to ice could vary by location, but ice accumulation of a quarter inch along with four to eight inches of snow could be possible. From Kansas City to Minneapolis St. Paul, Philadelphia to Baltimore and Atlantic City, schools and government offices were closed. Delta Airlines waived travel penalties for changing flights in some northeast cities impacted by Petra. Nationwide more than 2,225 flights were cancelled and more than 5,100 flights were delayed. According to flight tracking service FlightAware, more than 900 of those flights were preemptively cancelled by late Tuesday. The airports hit the most were the three major airports serving Washington and Baltimore, where several inches of snow were expected before it switched over to ice and rain. The most cancellation were in areas of the Midwest and Mid-Atlantic. The greatest number of cancellations were at Reagan National Airport, where 42% of departures and 36% of arrivals were cancelled. Runways at the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport were temporarily shut down on Wednesday morning because of low visibility and the fast rate of snowfall. More than 125 flights were cancelled from the airport, affecting about one out of every 10 flights. At Philadelphia, more than 15% of the day's flights had been cancelled. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.